Imagine for a moment that God has placed a special mark in your life, a sign that you are his child and no evil can harm you. What would this mark look like? Would it be a physical imprint or something visible only to God? As a child of God, you are marked by him, chosen, set apart, and called to a higher purpose. There are specific signs that indicate you bear a divine mark. Before we continue, if you're new to this channel, subscribe if you want to learn why and how you are marked by God. Watch this video to the end. The idea of God marking you may seem abstract or hard to grasp, but it reminds us of God's love and grace towards His children. It proves that God has not forgotten you, although it may seem so at times. In Psalm 139, 14, it says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, I know that full well. Have you ever wondered why God created everything before creating humans on the sixth day? He took care to arrange everything and make the garden suitable for human habitation. This demonstrates God's love for humanity. That's why he created you uniquely in his image, distinct from other beings. Unfortunately, humanity's fall distorted God's plan. And even after restoration, not everyone returned to God's original intent. As a result, there is a mark distinguishing God's beloved from the world. Even in the secular world, certain things distinguish one country from another. Moreover, when you go to a store to buy fruits, the first thing you notice is their appearance. But in this case, your outward appearance doesn't prove that you are marked by God. To confirm that you also bear this mark, here are signs to look for. Divine protection and preservation. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be enveloped in a reliable cloak of God that protects you from harm? This is more like your personal guardian angel watching over you. The Bible says God's name is a fortified tower where the righteous run and are safe. When you begin to enjoy God's divine protection and preservation, it's a sign that you are marked by Him. In Psalm 91.3, it says, Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. When God promises to protect you from deadly plagues, it's not limited to physical protection. Divine protection shields you from physical attacks, spiritual attacks, emotional pain, and much more. He said no harm would come near you. You know why? Because you bear God's seal. If God said no one should touch his anointed or harm his prophets, what do you think that means? divine protection and preservation, of course. David used this shield of protection throughout his life as a shepherd. God protected him from various wild animals he encountered in the fields. In battle, God shielded him from Goliath. And afterward, God saved him and protected him from King Saul's attacks. All of this is evidence of God's protection over a person he has set apart. Look at another example, Daniel. This young man found himself in captivity in a foreign land, but because of God's mark in his life, every plot against him was foiled. Even in the lion's den, God shut the mouths of hungry lions. They could see food, but they couldn't eat. That's what happens when you are marked by God. Those who wait for your blood are always disappointed in the end. As a parent, have you ever watched your child being teased by other children who are stronger than him? Of course not. So why did God, who loves you more than you love your child, leave you when you wake up every morning without attacks? Do you think it's because you locked the door? What about the spiritual attacks that the devil makes against you while you sleep? Have you ever heard of people who sleep and do not wake up even though they are surrounded by protection? Remember that demons don't need a physical door to reach you. The Bible says you are not destroyed because of God's mercy. His compassion does not fail. If God does not guard the city, the watchman watches in vain. No security measure will be sufficient to protect you without God's hand upon you. He protects you on the same path where others meet their end, not because you're smart, but because you bear God's divine mark. Have you ever applied to an organization for a job and the management rejected you without looking at your documents? Maybe you tried to ask questions, but no one wanted to answer you, even after several prayers and you weren't called back. Listen, do not be discouraged if this has ever happened to you. You were not rejected. God simply protected you. Perhaps God didn't want you to work there, 
and he likely removed you from that place to preserve your life. It may seem unreasonable, but such things happen. Thank God for his divine mark in your life. Because of this mark, you are assured of divine health even when doctors say there is no hope. God's healing power restores your health. Your safety is a testament to God's love and mercy in your life. So, if you've ever attributed this safety to natural causes, change the narrative today. You are guaranteed protection because you are marked by God. Supernatural Provision and Fruitful Harvest Supernatural provision is like God handing you small gifts when you least expect them. When you bear God's seal, you miraculously enjoy supernatural provision. Do you know that God knows what you need before you ask? Yes, He does. You serve a God of abundance, who owns everything visible and invisible. So why would He withhold anything from you? Look at the birds in the air and the fish in the sea. They have no income source or cultivate land, but they always have food because God provides for them. Do you know you are more valuable than those birds? The fact that God has placed a mark on you shows how valuable you are to Him. God's provision is like the care of a loving parent who knows their child's needs and provides for them. When you are marked by God, you can be sure that He will take care of you in unimaginable ways. These provisions come in various forms, spiritual, physical, material, or emotional needs. Psalm 37.25 says, I was young and now I am old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. Imagine a child of a very wealthy person begging for food from a neighboring family. It would be completely inappropriate. The Bible says God will surely meet your needs according to His riches and glory, meaning there's no room for lack in your life, be it food, clothing, shelter, finances, anything. God will provide it all. Do you remember how He cared for the Israelites in the wilderness? They traveled for years on a path without food or water, yet He sustained them. He rained manna from heaven and made water flow from a rock. This is only possible with God. When you bear God's seal, He gives you an abundant harvest on barren land. When others struggle to make ends meet, you will have more than enough. Divine Recognition and Favor Divine recognition and favor are like special treatment from God Himself. When you are marked by God, people begin to notice you and shower you with unexpected kindness, as if you suddenly become a star on foreign soil. Doors open left and right, and everyone suddenly wants to be part of your story. This recognition and favor are sure signs that you bear God's seal. In Deuteronomy 32.13, it says, He made him ride on the heights of the land and fed him with the fruit of the fields. He nourished him with honey from the rock and with oil from the flinty crag. Now personalize this scripture as someone bearing God's seal. Do you know how hard it is to get honey from a rock? No matter how sweet the honey is, you might not want to go through such stress to get it. But know this, when you are marked by God, He feeds you honey from the rock. What does this mean? You begin to receive things that are usually beyond your capabilities. You begin to access things that others strive for but fail to obtain. Promotions others have waited years for are simply handed to you on a golden platter. Scholarships that seemed impossible to get are now at your disposal. That's how God feeds you honey from the rock. He elevates you above limitations and grants you favor in all aspects. This was evident in Joseph's life. People recognized and favored him everywhere he went. In his family, he was loved and favored by his father. As a slave, he found favor in Potiphar's house, resulting in Potiphar putting him in charge of everything he owned. Then, in prison, his ability to interpret dreams brought him recognition. This ultimately led to his release and appointment to a position he never sought. How else can this be explained but as the work of God? Another example is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Wherever they went, favor followed them. In an unfamiliar land, God made Abraham universally favored. Unexplainable peace and joy. Unexplainable peace and joy are like a calm garden in your heart, untouched by the chaos of the world. When you are marked by God, His peace fills your heart, and joy flows like a river, regardless of the storms around you. 
you find peace in God. This peace and joy are not based on external circumstances, but come from within, knowing that God is in control. Imagine living in a world full of chaos, uncertainty and fear, yet remaining calm and joyful. This is a divine sign that you bear God's seal. In John 14, 27, Jesus said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. When Jesus promises peace, it's a peace that surpasses all human understanding. It's not just the absence of problems, but the presence of God amidst them. Paul and Silas experienced this unexplainable peace and joy while in prison. Despite being beaten and chained, they prayed and sang hymns to God. How could they be so joyful in such a dire situation? It happened because they were marked by God. The same peace and joy were evident in the lives of the apostles who faced persecution but remained steadfast in their faith. Spiritual Growth and Maturity Spiritual growth and maturity are like the blooming of a tree that bears good fruit. When you are marked by God, your relationship with Him deepens and you begin to grow spiritually. You start bearing the fruit of the Spirit such as love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Your faith becomes stronger and you gain a deeper understanding of God's Word. This growth does not happen overnight. It's a continuous process that occurs as you walk with God. Philippians 1.6 says, Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. This means that the God who began a good work in you will continue to work in you until it's finished. When you are marked by God, He purifies and refines you, removing anything that hinders your spiritual growth. Sometimes this process can be painful, but it is necessary for your development. As you grow spiritually, you become more like Christ, reflecting His character in everything you do. This maturity is a clear sign that you are marked by God. In conclusion, being marked by God is a profound blessing that comes with divine protection, supernatural provision, recognition and favor, unexplainable peace and joy, and spiritual growth and maturity. These signs are evident in the lives of those who are truly marked by God. If you see these signs in your life, rejoice, for you are indeed marked by God. If you do not yet see these signs, seek God with all your heart, and He will place His mark upon you. Thank you for watching, and may God bless you abundantly. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more inspirational content.